Hello, Dr. Thomas and colleagues. Before I get started, I wanted to set the stage of who I'm speaking with and what I will be speaking about. Um, my audience is actually my future adult basic education students. Some will be taking the GED, the General Education Diploma Test. We are at a first session of our program first day of a new semester, and I'm going to be talking to them about the impact of YA literature and why it's beneficial for an audience such as ourselves. So let's get started. I am going to start our slideshow. Welcome, everybody. I am so glad you're here to the first day of our program of adult basic education. I know that some of you will be taking your GED test and we are here to help you in any way that we can. We're going to be talking today about the power of young adult literature. One of the components of the GED test is a comprehensive reading and writing summary. So you are the champions. Your journey to reading and writing efficacy starts here in this program, one step at a time. And we all know the statistics, 67% of students who have dropped out of school have been victims of physical and mental abuse. Yet you're here. And why are we here? What is one of the goals that we're trying to obtain? Well, we know that high school diplomas are equivalent, unnecessary for the US knowledge-based workplace. And we want to get a foot in the door of these corporations and businesses. And we want to provide a good living for our families. And so once we get on our feet with literacy, many, many doors open up for us. So congratulations on your motivation, tenacity, and discipline. Why is young adult literature important for us? Adult basic education learners, shouldn't we be reading adult literature? Well, there's a lot of benefits for YA literature. First, there's a large selection of to, uh, text to choose from, multiple subgenres. So I promise you, you will find a subgenre that you are interested in. We can relate to the themes, the plots, the language, and the characters. It also enables us, the readers, to explore personal psychological and sociological issues. As a striving and reluctant reader, I find, and I know you will too, YA literature appealing. It improves literacy. And it has also been said that it bridges uh, to reading the classics. It's a good bridge to reading the classics. So where should we start? Well, let's explore some titles. I do want to tell you before we look at this flip snack is that as adult basic learners, not with, only within this program, but when you get into the workforce, it's imperative that we're comfortable with computers and applications. So during the course of our semester, we will be looking at various applications. The first one I want to show you is Flip snack. And I will call this up and show you what it is all about. Flip snack is an application. Once you learn it, it's easy to take your content and to have it as a repository and very very impressive and impactful ways. For example, I want to use Flipsnack to show you some of the titles that I think you may be interested in. You'll have this Flipsnack brochure to look at during the weekend, but what are some of the subgenres? Well, one is poetry, and my all time favorite now is spoken word poetry. And spoken word poetry. Poetry itself is compact, metrical writing characterized by imagination and artistry and imbued with intense meaning. Spoken word poetry is presented, it's performed. Uh, the poets 
dig deep into their their innermost selves and bring life to the poems that they are reading and performing. One of the spoken word poets that we will be reading this semester is Brian Collier and his poem is Knock Knock My Dad's Dream for Me. Drama is another subgenre, is a compos composition in verse or prose intended to portray life of character or to tell a story, usually involving conflicts. We'll try Just Breathe by uh, Cami McGovern. It's a, a very good book. I'd like to get through this pretty quickly and please forgive me for looking over. I have two monitors and I want to tell you about these fabulous subgenres. Realistic fiction is a very good one. It's imagination, prose or poetry that tells a story and can be organized into categories such as realism. One of these realistic fictions that we'll be reading this program is Watch Us Rise, You Won't Be Able to Put It Down, is by Renee Watson. If you enjoy fear, the excitement, fear, then horror may be a good for you. One book is Wait Till Helen Comes, and that is by Mary Hahn. A review, which you'll also see when you go through the flip snack, is that we have reviews on the bottom. And I'll be showing you how you're actually going to be going to the library and other sites to not only get summaries, but also see if the books are something that you want to read at that particular moment. She says, and this is the uh, Kirkus Review, an unusually scary, well-crafted ghost story. Jumping over to historical fiction, it takes place in historic historical and factually factual settings of past eras. And it focuses on issues of that particular time. We have My Calamity Jane, and we'll talk more about that later. And nonfiction. You can't go wrong with nonfiction. That could be everything from expository to persuasive or memoirs. And this particular book is a memoir. It's called Free Lunch, another one that you won't be able to put down by Rex Ogle. As you go through the brochure, I have outlined for you a couple of popular titles for each genre and their author. More of this to come, and you will be, of course, uh, looking at this this weekend. Now, let us get back to our presentation. And I want to summarize what we talked about this short period. High school diplomas or equivalent are necessary for the US knowledge-based workplace. Why our literature is relatable, it's appealing, it improves our literary skills, and it's just plain fun. So we're going to enjoy this semester. We're going to get started right away. We will have an assessment, each one of us, and see where we stand right now, right today. And then I will give you a book stack for you to take a look at and we'll get you started with some literature. So have a nice weekend and happy reading.